Today I'll tell you good news from Alabama and Florida. NFL Football Operations has assigned the Carolina Panthers and Miami Dolphins as the coaching staffs for the 72nd annual Reese's Senior Bowl. The Miami Dolphins bracing for a new contract negotiation with star cornerback Xavier Howard. Veteran quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick was activated from the reserve COVID-19 list Monday. The Dolphins added yet another player via a futures contract Monday, this time running back Jordan Scarlett from the University of Florida. Dolphins mark Steelers for free agent additions. Now is happy time, the Reese's Senior Bowl today announced that NFL football operations has assigned the Carolina Panthers and Miami Dolphins as the coaching staffs for the 72nd annual Reese's Senior Bowl to be played on Saturday, January 30, 2021 at brand new Hancock Whitney Stadium on the campus of the University of South Alabama. The game will be aired live on the NFL Network at 1.30 Central, Central Time. The Panthers own the number 8 pick, while the Dolphins own the nose, 3 and 18 selections in the 2021 NFL Draft. The Reese's Senior Bowl has long been the nation's most prestigious college all-star game because it is the only one coached by entire staffs from two National Football League clubs. The participating teams are prioritized based on the NFL Draft order with the main caveat being that teams must have a staff in place before arriving in mobile, which generally precludes teams with head coaching turnover to participate. The only time the Panthers coached the Senior Bowl was in 2000 under George Seifert and the Dolphins last participated in 2010 when Tony Sperano was the head coach. Coaching the Reese's Senior Bowl gives each staff a behind-the-scenes look at the players, not only on the field but also in the meeting rooms. This unique access has always been an invaluable part of the evaluation process for participating clubs, however, this year there is even greater significance in college campuses this fall. The Reese's Senior Bowl is coming off the best two-year draft record in the game's long history. In each of the past two drafts, the Senior Bowl has produced 93 total draft picks, including 40 in the first three rounds. The 186 total players represent 37% of the past two draft classes. The 2019 and 2020 rosters have included the following rookie and second-year standouts, QB Justin Herbert, Chargers, Jeremy Chin, Panthers, Chase Claypool, Steelers, Brandon Ayuk, 49ers, QB Jalen Hurts, Eagles, DB Kyle Duggar, Patriots, Javin Kinlaw, 49ers, Antonio Gibson, WFT, QB Daniel Jones, Giants, WR Terry McLaurin, WFT, OL Chris Lindstrom, Falcons, WR Debo Samuel, 49ers, OL Elgton Jenkins, Packers, D.L. Montez Sweat, WFT. Reese's Senior Bowl Executive Director Jim Nagy said, We are extremely grateful to have to have two of the brightest young minds and respected leaders in the league coaching our Reese's Senior Bowl rosters this year. Matt Rule and Brian Flores are both excited to get to mobile and our players are incredibly fortunate to have a week-long experience learning under these two great teachers and their respective staffs. While Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores said, the entire Miami Dolphins organization is excited to take part in this year's Senior Bowl. In this unique run-up to the draft, the Senior Bowl will be a great opportunity for our coaches and personnel department to interact with these players for a full week. We look forward to working with these prospects as part of this premier event with a tradition of featuring top-tier talent. The Miami Dolphins bracing for a new contract negotiation with star cornerback Xavier Howard. The Miami Dolphins may be bracing for a new contract negotiation with star cornerback Xavier Howard. Based on the developments of the past six months, one would assume Miami has read the room well enough to know what is coming. Because Howard, who inked a contract extension with the Dolphins ahead of the 2019 regular season, went out and played like the Defensive Player of the Year in 2020, logging 10 interceptions while also leading the league in passes defense this season and conceding an opposing quarterback rating under 50 in coverage on the year. And now, Howard has made a big change off the field, he's switching his representation. Howard's new agent, David Cantor, announced the move yesterday. Cantor's client list includes former Miami Dolphins defensive end Olivier Vernon, Cowboys star pass rusher Demarcus Lawrence and Bengals safety Von Bell. With Howard now included on Cantor's clientele sheet, he's assembles, he's assembles quite an impressive group of defensive standouts to represent. And now the question becomes what was Howard's motivations to endure a representation change? One can only presume that it has to do with his contract the dilemma for the Dolphins is this. Howard's play in 2020 demands top dollar. 
and Howard has always been one of the better ball hawking cornerbacks in all of football. But the team must ask themselves how comfortable they are with re upping a contract that was signed 18 months ago to a cornerback who has an extensive list of knee injuries during his playing time in the NFL. Part of the allure of how the Dolphins structured his second contract when they paid him the first time was how flexible it was for the long term. Restructuring or extending that deal after two seasons, and for a cap figure that Howard and Cantor will likely aim in excess of $20 million per season on, is a tough pill to swallow for the Dolphins. Not because Howard isn't worth it, but rather because making such changes would almost assuredly make his contract more restrictive for Miami to work with in the years to come. At the end, Dolphins mark Steelers for free agent additions. The Miami Dolphins saw their 2020 season ended eight days ago thanks in large part to the Pittsburgh Steelers deciding to sit their starters for Week 17 against the Cleveland Browns. The Browns won that contest 24-22 in a decision that, had it gone the other way, would have allowed Miami to sneak into the postseason as a 10-6 wild card team. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. And now the football gods have paid out some cruel karma to the Steelers for their decision and its cost against Miami, as Cleveland came into Pittsburgh last night and nearly hung 50 points on a vaunted Steelers defense that contended with Miami for much of the season in the race to be the number one scoring defense in football. The Pittsburgh Steelers' season is now over, too. The tone of Pittsburgh's season will be much different than the one in Miami. 1. The Dolphins is a young, upstart team that arguably overachieved. The other, Pittsburgh, is a team with many criering contracts at the team in the red for their 2021 salary cap situation. The Dolphins would be wise to eye Pittsburgh's cap situation. And, depending on which players hit the open market, Miami should be ready to pull from a successful Steelers program and secure some new talent for themselves. The hallmark of a Dolphins free agent signing, according to the track record established last season, is someone under the age of 30 who can fulfill multiple roles. Eric Flowers was capable of playing guard or tackle, in a pinch. Kyle Van Noy plays approximately five different positions. Emmanuel Ogba can serve as an inside or outside pass rusher. Versatility is a big piece of what the Dolphins are doing. There are a new set of team needs for Miami this offseason, but successful programs like Pittsburgh seeing this number of young talents on the chopping block will afford Miami to target at least a few of those needs via free agency. The most obvious appeals for the Dolphins off the Steelers list? Wide receiver the Steelers list? Wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster is one. Miami desperately needs to upgrade their pass catchers. He logged 97 receptions for 831 yards and a paltry 8.6 yards per catch and 9 touchdowns this season, plus an additional 13 for 157 and a score in Pittsburgh's loss last night to Cleveland. The general sensation in Pittsburgh is that the Steelers have been bracing to lose Smith-Schuster, they drafted Chase Claypool in the second round of the 2020 NFL Draft and still have Deontay Johnson and James Washington to pair with Claypool without Smith-Schuster in the picture. But don't sleep on RB James Conner and nickel defender Mike Hilton, either. Both are young talents that could make sense for the Dolphins as well. Free agency is approximately two months away, so Miami's front office has some time to evaluate and strategize here. And Pittsburgh will make some personnel signings to help whittle the list, too. But make no mistake, this is a good shortens add-ons this offseason.